Making our way over to the titanium sides, Apple's using something called a PVD coating. A physical vapor deposition, it's a pretty wild method of applying an ultra-thin protective layer over the titanium. I don't know enough about PVD to talk about it in depth, but you know, it is scratchable. Exactly like the anodized aluminum. Everything except for this 5G antenna slot, for some reason this oval is just not scratchable. Make scratchy. the whole phone I out think of they that. should make a whole phone out of whatever this stuff is. Thank you. The power button is scratchable, however, and not removable, along with the top and entire left side. That hurts my ears. It took Apple 14 hours to apply this finish, and my jerry rig knife 14 seconds to unapply the finish. The new action button is scratchable, and our USB-C port down near the bottom is an actual USB 3 with 10 gigabit transfer speeds. The regular iPhone 15 is just USB 2, and if you don't know what that means, you'll be just fine with either. The matte back glass, which every phone should have, does not scratch. The Apple logo in the center is the only thing that's smooth. One thing that Apple did change up quite a bit this year is with the cameras. We still get that gradual gradient built into Looks the tinted exactly glass the same. that rises up to the camera plateau, and some of these camera upgrades we won't be able to see until the teardown. But Apple says these three lenses that we can see are actually seven. Gotta LOL a bit at that absolute stretch. Here at the bottom we have a 48 megapixel main camera, which apparently has a nanoscale coating on the lens to reduce glare. The coating luckily doesn't work. does not scratch off or fracture. The at coolest camera is definitely the middle one, a 12 megapixel 5x Tetra Prism telephoto lens that redirects and reflects light four times before hitting a 3D sensor shift OIS stabilizer. If there's one reason to take apart the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's to see what in the world that looks like from the inside. Then up top we have a 12 megapixel ultrawide. Apparently, these two cameras on the edge can work together like two eyeballs to generate spatial video, which I don't want to be the guy to beat a dead horse, but that was something Android did 12 years ago with the Literally. HTC Evo 3D. Probably before some of you kidlets with iPhones were Y'all remember born. HTC? Gotta honor your ancestors. They used to be kind of cool. said during their event that the back glass panel is easily removable to facilitate repairability which is a huge commendable move. Uh, he and then in the same the screen, sentence, Apple bro. said that the internal structure of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is made from 100% recycled aluminum, which immediately tells us two things. One, it's nice to see that there's more than just the iPhone design that gets recycled every year. Ah, and two, the internal frame is not solid grade 5 titanium, only the exterior. This explains quite a bit. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch OLED display with 2000 nits of outdoor brightness and 120 hertz refresh rate, and lasts for about oh, infinity seconds before screen. having no reaction to my lighter. Nice work, Apple. We'll try out my uh, big boy lighter in a second. It's time to see if the new blended aluminum titanium grafted hybrid structure compromises oh, the structural integrity of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Bruh. For 1500 Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I did not see that one coming. You've been watching me durability test smartphones for about 11 years now, and most phones do not break. iPhones especially do not that break, was like easy. ever. And that snap was abnormally quick. Kind of stunned. I'm, I'm not sure if it's because the grade 5 titanium frame has nearly three times more tensile strength than aluminum. For 1500 that's what you get. A phone but the glass did not thumb. like being pressed or flexed by my thumb. That's crazy. On the first bin, too. Internally, the phone itself is doing fine, of course. There's no cracking or shattering of the frame. But the back glass is definitely obliterated. Good thing Apple made the glass modular, so it only costs 200 bucks to replace instead only of 500 200. But still, if I was a person who just 1, purchased a $1,200 titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max, I would be extremely nervous right now. Anyway, I did not plan on that happening. But you gotta admit, the crack looks pretty cool. The Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max does not survive my durability test, That's which means statement. it's time for the big boy lighter. The PVD coating is already an imitation blue, which would make any actual blue in the titanium frame very difficult to see. But if we sand it down and expose some better titanium, we might be able to see if Apple's grade 5 reacts the same way as my grade 5. That's some pretty good looking brush titanium. Still not sure why it takes Apple 14 hours. I'm using a map gas torch, oh, which I think, along with burning my desk, is actually lighting some of the titanium dust on fire 
You can see the sparks glow white as they sputter away from no, the foam. He wasn't. Now, the titanium itself could probably handle the heat, but the screen and the foam circuitry, not so much. The torch definitely accomplishes what my lighter could not, and if we look super close at the iPhone frame, we can see it's all change to all y'all crazy people that buy Apple a new iPhone every year, every titanium. Years, like, what are y'all doing? Is it grade five though? I do like, have ways of finding out. Away? I literally I have an iPhone kind of hot in here. Now everyone knows the whole point of getting it a new is iPhone beat, is so that and everyone I've knows you have a new iPhone. It and Hiding it in a black plastic case would like, wholly and entirely defeat the purpose. For an and wow, ice, side I note, natural titanium is the move for sure. However, getting a transparent case to show off your phone is dangerous since most clear cases are made of thermoplastic polyurethane, which when exposed to ultraviolet radiation undergoes the irreversible process of photooxidation. Sunlight makes clear cases turn yellow. So on the 